Hey, good afternoon. Uh, John Clements here for the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Today is Friday, May 7th, 2021. It's a cloudy day. The apple trees are in bloom, but the pollination weather ain't that great. Anyways, I wanted to show you, I am setting up a little experiment here. This is uh, some Ruby Mac trees. I'm not sure what rootstock they are. Probably G41s that were planted this year. And uh, they're basically whip trees. I'm a little concerned about getting some branching on these. Now, if they were still dormant, they could have been painted with a uh, high concentration of 6BA. But they're starting to break bud. I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to do uh, two treatments here compared to no treatment. I'm going to do a, a, a notching with a double-edged... Uh, pruner here and in a little bit a week or two if the weather warms up then I'm gonna spray 6BA probably using Maxell because it's what I have I think at a rate of about uh, four or five hundred parts per million on the uh, developing buds to see if I can get them to elongate so let me show you what I got here all right these are the trees the blue trees I'm going to notch, you can see up here in the top part of the tree are starting to break bud pretty good. I'm not worried about that. It's down here, lower, they are starting to break bud a little bit. But I've also got some dormant buds here that haven't broken. I'd like to get some branching starting about knee height. So right about where that flag is. Uh, but it's going to be the red trees I'm going to do the notching on. So this, the red flag trees. So this little bit above knee height. Again, you can see up here. I think you can if I can get in focus. You know, the buds are breaking pretty good. But as you move down the tree, these buds aren't breaking. And I'm afraid, left to its own devices, you're going to get growth up here and not down below so we're going to take these if i can get them open there we go they, these are uh some double-edged pruners i picked up from oesco i think stay for is the brand and what i'm going to try and do here come down here where i want some branching to be and the buds aren't breaking is uh just double notch these, right? Both sides, give them a pretty good cut there. And I'm gonna try to stay in focus here. Move this around, get that bud. Get that bud. I'd be doing this a little faster if I didn't hold the camera. Get that bud. Gotta be careful I don't cut through the tree and maybe get this bud with a good notch right above it and on the other side. So at least five or six buds on these red flag trees. I've got 10 trees red flagged and I've got 10 trees blue flagged, all whips. A few of these have some branches on, but I'm not using those. Uh, see what happens. Let's see down the row there, there's the the rest of the trees. So once again, now these buds are breaking down here, but I'm still gonna, I wanna notch these. So I'm hoping that will make them elongate and grow out versus not growing out. Or, or making a flower bud. We'll see. I don't know. And there's a few garment buds in here, too. Oop. There we go. Yeah, these are... Uh, oh, they're Ruby Max on Nick 29. And when I do the... The Maxell paint... Or the, not the paint. The spray the blue flag trees, I'll come out and record that too. 
Right. So uh, here we are on July 2nd. I think I've got the same outfit on as I did back in May. After a couple of really hot days, uh, it's really cooled off, cloudy, breezy. Anyways, about 65 degrees and the wind's blowing a little bit, but quickly, I wanna show you the results and uh, tell you that I'm writing a Fruit Notes article with some further results, but I wanna show you the results of the uh, notching uh, versus the BA treatment uh, versus where I did nothing, so. Uh, All right, despite what I initially said, the red flag trees are the notch treatments. You can see how the notching of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight of those buds early uh, broke all these branches. Really nice, and they're growing, growing quite well here in early July. And that would, uh, that's pretty much what happened. About uh, seven or eight buds were notched and they all broke. And then next door here, this tree, the blue flagged, was treated with 6BA. I think it was a week or two after I did the notching, maybe a little later, but really did nothing. Um, you know, a couple of the other trees, maybe I can uh, show you one across the street, but really just didn't break any branches here at all to speak of. Um, kind of embarrassed by the weed situation here. If you look down the row, um, they did spray some paraquat, but this uh, pigweed just continued to grow. So I'm not going to show you too much. The control, basically, I mean, this tree, nothing was done to the lower part of the tree. You can see no branching. I really don't think this particular 6PA treatment did much of anything. There's the notching. Let's look over here. Another notch tree. Let's see, got some pretty good branching going there. That'll be a nice, uh, very nice tall spindle tree. And again, here's a uh, 6BA treated tree. Really didn't, uh, I think I ended up using Promoin. Didn't do much there. Got some branch breaks in the top part of the tree, but not the bottom. So, let's see, here's a, a control with a weed. No, no intervention. And, yeah or two there but really nothing happening there's another notched tree see the branching where the notching occurred oh wait one more thing not to throw us under the bus <laughs> but it is important to support these trees uh, to get better growth if you're going to go to the trouble of notching them notice we don't have our support system installed yet um, a little bit short of help here at UMass but still it's it's not a good situation as I mentioned, the weed control situation is bad. And the other thing is, it's, been, it's wet now, but there's no irrigation. So if you go over this trouble of doing the notching, you, you really want to fertilize these trees, get some irrigation on them, and get them supported. They'll grow, they'll grow much better. So forgot to mention that. Like I said, not to throw us under the bus, but I will. <laughs> because uh, it's a good learning opportunity there. Okay, bye-bye.